um, the systems are very different, right? So I think with Penn State, what, what they do at their quarterback, uh, we, we kind of felt like both quarterbacks were, were equally dangerous, and uh, we had a lot of respect for both of them. Uh, I would not compare Nebraska's scheme necessarily to, to Penn State's uh, in that, you know, the X's and O's part, but I would, I would compare it in that uh, both, both quarterbacks, again, are very dangerous. They can hurt you maybe in a different way than the guys from Penn State hurt you, but, you know, getting hurt getting hurt. It doesn't matter how it is. And uh, both these guys are really uh, capable of making, making plays at their feet with their arm. Uh, and their head, you know, so that's, that's a, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those deals where you really, there's a lot of pressure uh, on your defense at every position because both these quarterbacks can run, they can get outside and throw it, uh, they can get outside and run it, and that, that, uh, that makes it a big challenge for us. Well, you know, we're playing better. I mean, that's probably the simple answer, and, um, you know, when you're playing better, you have a chance, but, you know, like I said, in the lead uh, statements there, even, even last week, you know, the score ended up being, you um, you know, a pretty good gap. But I mean, if, if you look at the, the, the stats, they're pretty close. And, uh, you know, really the game was close if you're at the game. And I don't think any of us on our sideline were feeling really overly confident in that fourth quarter. I mean, they had us right there, uh, you know, really, really vulnerable position. All they need to do is score and then get an onside kick. And, you know, they're knocking right on the door. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just a, a way the conference is. You can't really relax. Uh, we did have a chance maybe a couple of weeks before, but I, I, I can assure you, Nobody in our camp saw it coming in either case, you know, and uh, sometimes it just happens. But um, I think it's a credit to our guys playing better football. And I, I will say this, I think our guys are, for the most part, staying focused for the, you know, for the full 60 minutes. And that sometimes is easier said than done. Um, you know, we've done some good things up front, uh, but they, you know, they've had some, some good things happen to them too. So, yeah, bottom line is, especially these last two, two years, I mean, it's really literally come down to that last play and, um, you know, there's nothing easy, and this won't be easy. Uh, we know that. They're going to come in here ready to go. And the other factor is I don't think home or away doesn't really doesn't seem to matter. You know, it's going to be – we expect it to be a really tough, hard-fought game, and uh, it sounds like the weather's going to be decent. That's good. So, you know, it really just gets down to the team that probably makes the least amount of mistakes, doesn't, you know, give up easy things and uh, easy plays and, you know, can, can play the full game. But, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't expect anything to be – you know, there's, there's no boxes checked right now on our, our side, I guess. I'm just looking at it saying we're going to have to go out and really try to play better than we had the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, the score is good last week, but there are a lot of things we, we left the door open on. we got to get that uh, get that taken care of here a little quicker. I, I can think of a pass play in that fourth quarter that we didn't have covered. Luckily, the quarterback couldn't get there. Uh, or else that scenario I just described might have happened where, you know, all of a sudden it's a six-point game and they're, they're onside kicking. So... You know, we've been a little lucky too. I just uh, hate to hate to rely on luck.